Thank you for joining me today on Good News with Twanda Black, where we're discovering some of the most inspiring trials to triumph stories and empowerment moments. Call up a friend and let them know it's time for some good news. Hi, I'm Twanda Black and welcome to Good News. We talk to folks from all around the world about interesting topics. Today, we have singer, songwriter, and psalmist, B. Cherise out of Be More. So stay tuned. Hey, B. Cherise. Hey, how are you? How are you today? Baltimore in the house. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I'm happy to be here today. How are you? I am good. I'm good. Despite everything that's going on. Um, I just had that conversation about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> about, <laughs> keep pushing through. Even though it's uncomfortable, you just got to, even though you think it's unfair, you just got to keep going forward. So, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I can't complain. So while you're there, talk about how you made it through in 2020. What was your 2020 like? A mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, unemployment, people getting sick around us, um, just everything going on all at once, people dying left and right, and I mean, they're still dying left and right, and um, I actually sit back and think about it, and I was going to get groceries, and I, when I went to go put stuff in the freezer, I stood back for a second, and I said, I looked at it, I said, Lord, you've been sustaining me through this whole thing. I've not gone without. I've not gone without food, shelter, clothing, um, just basic needs. God has been really showing up and showing out. So I am grateful. I'm really grateful. Amen. 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 Let's talk about your singing career. Um, did you start singing when you were a little girl? So I started singing when I was... Well, I was running around the house singing when I was five and my mom used to play all her records every Friday night. And that's when she told me don't mix gospel with secular music. Oh. She said that I listen to secular, secular music. She said, but I don't mix it and listen to it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I, she would let me listen on Fridays and then on Sundays she pull out all her gospel albums. So um, she had me singing then. So I started, I sang in my first choir was an adult choir she put me in with her at her job and <laughs> I sang walk in the light <laughs> so um I started singing then and um then I was in choir in my private school Arlington Baptist Church School and from there it went from there to Dunbar High School where I played in the jazz band um I sung in the choir and I played the drums, so. Wow. Yeah. You're all around good musician, even as a teenager then. It was just fun. I just loved to do it. And That's what I thought it, too. It, was, it, yeah. came, it wasn't stress. It was, I could just go ahead and, and just be myself. And, and that's why I love music so much. Um, you can just be yourself in it and be artistic in yeah. it. Yeah. So when did you realize, or I, I'm sure the Lord had to speak to you on this about recording and really being out there and ministering and performing? So of course I was doing everything I was big and bad enough to do. And I started singing R&B for a number of years and I was singing in a go-go band in DC and I was doing background for different artists. and. And then I tried to get it. I had two this two separate record deals that fell through. And the last one was the last straw because I was sick of the industry. And I quit for two years. Two years I was I was sick of music. I didn't want to hear music. I didn't want to go to the studio. Um, I didn't want to write anything. And um, I was just home and working and taking care of my daughter. And next thing I know, my mom passed and it happened like that and she always used to tell me you're not supposed to be singing that and that's why it's not working out uh -huh. <laughs> and of course you know you know how we 
children are. We don't listen to y'all when y'all tell us what to do. That's right. And it takes a lot. It, it took it took for her to be gone for me to understand what I was supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. I had to draw to God when she passed. Like I I was all over the place, and and God really pulled me out of that. Um, that that's a hurting feeling when your parent is gone. So mm -hmm. it was maybe like. I was going back to church with my sister and they would ask me to sing and I would sing and sit down and then everybody kept asking me, well, Brandy, you should record something. And I was like, mm -mm. and over time, it took maybe three to four years for God to even really give it back to me that I wanted to do music again. And that's when um, I started singing with Juan Santiago and Uninhibited Praise. And it still took two years after that for me wanting to be on my own to do it. And that's when I recorded my first single, Undefeated. Yeah. 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 Um, in the midst of all of that, <laughs> which is really interesting in the career, but I love it um, because music makes everything great. Is right. that you're a chef? Woo, yes. So, so talk about how that, how you intertwined. Um, I didn't really understand it at first because I'm like, Lord, you gave me this, like, you give me all these talents that, like, they all over the place. Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> but I love to cook. It's in, it gives me a zone, like, I zone out. And sometimes I zone out and I cook a lot, a, a, a whole lot. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, I quit my job in corporate America and I went to culinary school. Cause I said I could not sit behind a desk anymore. And I went to culinary school and I graduated. And then I started working in my field and I enjoyed it. I enjoy the bulk cooking. I enjoy, um, I enjoy feeding people. I really, mm -hmm. food makes people smile and it makes them happy. So I, I, I like the look on their face when they are satisfied and relaxed and, and them going to sleep is a plus too. So. <laughs> Talk about how you've um, uh, done cooking and as a ministry in your community as well. So I had the opportunity to feed over 2,000 people a week um, along with um, the help of the Maryland Food Bank. We fed over 2,000 people a week, so I had to put that together to orchestrate that. Um, I do things at my church mission where I feed the homeless, different homeless come in and we help them out there. Um, I feed my church all the time. So, <laughs> um, but my goal is to ultimately open up a, um, a place where homeless families can come and get a hot meal for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't know a lot of kids go hungry at night. A lot of parents don't have it's money. Summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And want them to be able to get a hot meal just to, you know, relax them in the midst of all their all the, the problems and the drama of life. Yes. Um, so that's my ultimate goal with food um, and that aspect. But I, I don't know if anybody knows, I sing in the kitchen when I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah don't we all <laughs> we might not sound like you but we all sing while we're cooking now yes yes and um so a lot of people ask me to um what am i going to do with it so i am doing a podcast for some um soon for mm -hmm. some of the recipes that i have and i will be doing a cookbook that is called songs songs and um sayings from your grandmother's kitchen all right so, How about a cooking show? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I have an idea for a cooking show, and it's a traveling idea. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully I can get around to all of the Black food establishments and go in and, and, and introduce them and watch them and help them with, help them in what they make. So Okay that that's in the works right now so i'm really that's happy pretty awesome yeah you're doing two things that you love i mean that must be heaven 
I had to take a leap for a lot of it. A lot of times people are scared. Like, they, you're not meant in this world to just work a nine to five, pay bills, and die. Like, that's right. just, it's just not it. That's um, right. God gave us all of this stuff that we can do. So, do it. Don't be scared. Write your vision. Make it plain. Trust him. And just go through whatever comes your way. He He's going to see you through it. If it's a brick wall, he's going to get you around the brick wall or over it. Because it's your life, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so let's talk, let's talk about your new project. <laughs> so my new project is The Valley. Let me tell you, I'm going to watch what I'll be writing. Because <laughs> whatever you write, you go through. Mm. And 2020 and 2021 is definitely a valley experience. You, uh, it is cohesively an experience. Mm -hmm. um, lows and highs and stuff in the middle and stuff in between. And um, that's what the valley is about. Uh, telling you, but just not to give up. Yeah. Don't give up. Um, it, it may hurt you. You got to focus on your foundation. Um, I say it all the time. I, I said it two days ago. I said, Lord, I'm out here in the deep. <laughs> what are we doing? Because right. if he doesn't lead me and guide me, I'm a mess. So, so that's what the valley is about. Long Gone, my new single, is basically about letting go of fear and mm. frustration and mm -hmm. stuff in your past like go to counseling pray about it ask God to help you through it and then you will look up and you will be healed from it and it's all gone it's gone mm -hmm. away and it's mm -hmm. dust and I never understood that until I truly went through it and had to deal with it pray about it trust God through it and then it was just gone and it That's didn't. How it, works. it didn't happen overnight, but mm -hmm. process. And those are words we don't like: process, patience. Determine. That's right. <laughs> so talk about your writing. Your writing. Um, wh how do you write? You know, uh, what's your procedure? What's your process in writing? Um, my writing partner, my sister Siobhan. <laughs> so she. I just talked to her. She told me to tell you hello. Um, <laughs> uh, she is, is, is just a ball of, she writes in her sleep, mm. literally. We went away for my birthday and she was writing and she said, I'm going to sleep. And she went to sleep and I came back and I said, <laughs> are you awake? She was literally singing the words in her sleep. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. So um, she she is a ball of energy and, and we write um, collectively. We come back and forth with things. Um, now we have a, a we have two different producers that we work with. So they just send us stuff. And then it's like it's like a ping pong match. It's like <laughs> I'm, I'm writing this and then I send it to her and she sends it back to me. Sometimes I might get stuff. God will wake me up and it'll be two, three o'clock in the morning. I'll be like, Lord, you want to talk right now, right now, <laughs> right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, um, it, it might happen late at night. It might happen while I'm at work. And that is the worst sometimes because <laughs> then I'm trying to remember what he's giving me Yeah. right away. But I've learned to just stop and, take time and, and get what God's given me first and then I go finish out my day so yeah yeah that's that's good. that's where the phone comes in handy yeah yeah you put that in your phone or in the notes you know yeah yeah it must be awesome to work with your sister she's so talented and um they, she, she's just so delightful you know I, I loved uh being around her she's very delightful and so you see that creative spirit in her you really do yeah. I'm trying to actually get her to do um, 
a podcast. She is so funny, and nobody. <laughs> she is so funny, and she makes these videos, and she'll just do it out the blue to make us laugh. But I said, Siobhan, I said, this is just your calling. Like you just right. don't realize it. And um, she is hilarious. Like I, I love my sister. She is a joy. She um, she makes sure I'm. She one hundred percent makes sure I'm okay um and vice versa and she always looks out for me and she's an accountability partner and she she really does not play <laughs> but she does it in love yeah. yeah she does it in love it's a blessing to have that relationship with your sister you know everybody can't say that so that's such a blessing I want you to tell everybody where they can find your new project, your old music, um, your podcast. Tell us what's going on and how to find you. Okay, so I will be doing all updates on www.bcharice.org. And you can find me on at, well, you can find me on all social media platforms as um, bcharice788. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, my podcast, I will release the date um, sometime in May, but it will be released on my um, on my webpage. Okay. Uh, long. All your music, all your music on all platforms, right? All my music is on all platforms, um, but it's my life is on I Am Gospel for the Holy Hip Hop Edition. So yeah. You Go out and get that as well. That is a wonderful compilation that I was uh, blessed to be on. I enjoyed it so much. I enjoy my counterparts on there. So you will like the whole project, period. You will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's one of my favorite songs, though. I play that almost every week. Really? Thank I you. I do. On Good News Gospel, absolutely. I love that song. I just wanted to motivate people, like, and, and really, honestly, when um shout out to Brian Cook, when I wrote it, I, he was like, I had brought him some other stuff, and he said, No, that's not it. And he said, he said, sing to me how you're feeling. And I just started singing that. And he said, he said, Oh, that's how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, I'm tired of people that sit around and tell you what you can and cannot do with your life. Um, and they won't do it but they don't want you to do it either. Right. And I'm exhausted with it. So we just sat and we wrote it and we wrote it. And I said, I said, finally, somebody gets what's going on in my head on paper. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, we have enjoyed having you so much today. Ladies and gentlemen, B. Cherie, singer, songwriter, chef extraordinaire. We're looking forward to those shows. And of yeah. course, you can see her at bcharice.org. bcharice.org is where you need to go and find out all the information about her. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Good news with Twan De Black on PGN TV. And if you want to find me, you can see me at Facebook at Twan De Black. ATL or visit twandablack.com. I hope to see you next time right here on Good News.